Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Keith Armour, I'm Education Homework Support Manager here in the Adult Learning Center downtown at the Main Library. This is today's Lunch and Learn, and we're going to talk about um, part four. The entire month of September, we have focused on um, homework help, and we have over 21 resources that is just a click away for any student or if you're helping a student. And the four that we're gonna go over today is World Book Advanced, World Book Kids, World Book Spanish Edition, and then they have something for the little ones, Early World of Learning from World Book. So before we get into those resources and we get onto the website, I do wanna point out it's beautiful weather um, for late September, it's great. Um, there are a lot of different outdoor story times. Check out our event calendar and go to one of those wonderful outside story times. And the other thing I do want to keep focusing on is our meal service. We have uh, free meal boxes for kids from um, babies up to 18 years of age. And they are at select library locations. You have seven meals and seven snacks for the child. The child does not have to be there to pick up the box. You as an adult or a caregiver can be there. If you'd like to know those locations, check, out, check it out on our website or of course call 369-6900. Let's go ahead and finish out the month of September by looking at homework help, the last four of the 21 resources, all right? All right, we've arrived at our cincinnatilibrary.org public website. We're gonna go right down here under research databases, and we are going to click on homework help. The entire month of September, we have gone over all of these resources, um, which are just a click away for students and parents for resources for homework. There's 21, so it took us the entire month of September to actually go over all of these, and we are going to go over the last four now. We're gonna go over to World Book Advanced, the World Book Early World of Learning, World Book for Kids, and there's even a Spanish version of World Book. And remember, World Book is um, the encyclopedia. Um, we used to have them in a, you know, in a big set of books, and now they're on online, and so that, that we're going to take a look at those. So let's go ahead and get into World Book Advanced. Now, what they did on the front page is they've put something on here. So if someone just is interested in some new information, here's one on the One World Trade Center. And if I click, here's one on September 11th, terrorist attacks, the world, uh, the War of Worlds, uh, just a feature on the airplane. And I can go through all of these. I could go right here to visit the article on Hollywood. And it's going to give me a nice picture of Hollywood. It's going to show me on the map. And it will actually show me where Hollywood is on the map of Los Angeles. It's going to let me have an article here. I can listen. Hollywood, California is generally considered the motion picture capital. So I can listen to the entire article. I can even change the voice of who is reading it to me. There's some pictures here, and then there is um, different ways to cite this article if you're going to use it in a paper. Um, there are some other tools here up here at the top, images, videos, and audio. And you'll see here are the photos that I could use. If I click on this great photo of Hollywood, the Hollywood sign, I can use this little arrow right here and click on it and I could um, save to my research, I could print it, or I could cite it. So I can use it several different ways. So this is a public, um, a public domain type of photo that you can use in any kind of research. Now, we're gonna go back to the main page. And over here, up here at the top, these are all the different resources that you can have. So you can have my research here, Pathfinders, research guides, timelines, and even today in history is over here as well. So we're gonna click back. Let's type in, um, we 
let's type in her name. And there's Ruth, and um, she, you know, she just passed away this past week. And if I click here, I can read an article about uh, Justice Ginsburg. I can have it listen. I can listen to it. They can read it to me. But there it is. Um, there's her death, and I, I'm I'm only pointing this out because this is a resource. This is a research a resource that is um, always up to date. They are always updating their information. So keep that in mind. We're gonna type in uh, another topic. We're gonna to type in World War II. And we're gonna hit search. And there's a whole bunch of articles or sections on World War II. But we're gonna click on the main one up here. And I'm going to show you that there are uh, several things that are here. Look at how far I am. It's going to tell you all about World War II from the very beginning to the very end. It's going to give you a lot of different pictures, a lot of different videos as well. It'll even give you a standard section. So if I click here, I can look at the standards where um, the um, introduction to World War II is placed. So if I went to uh, grade uh, nine and hit submit, I could find out, well, they're going to talk about it a little bit in language arts and then a little bit about um, different content. Um, so this is a really good helpful thing to understand historical thinking and skills right here and where it kind of falls in uh, your child's learning. Um, going to images and videos here, there's a bunch of videos as well. Here is Neville Chamber Chamberlain returning, who sadly said, this is peace in our time. And if I use the arrow again, I could um, save to my research, I could print it, I could even cite it, and I could use it in my research as well. Same thing when it comes to maps. I can look at World War II in Europe and I could cite this article, I could print it out, or I could even save it to my research and use later in my report. Same thing with videos. I could um, click on this video and you'll notice. The war in the air was a crucial and deadly part of the fighting during World War II. So there's audio there and there's video, plus I can make the screen bigger. But if I click here, I could even download, I could even download this video and if I was doing a presentation in a PowerPoint, I could use this um, in, the, um, in, in my presentation because I could download this short video. And it's only 39 seconds, but it would be a good video to add um, to a possible PowerPoint or Google Slides presentation. And of course I can hit here and then find the site, uh, be able to cite the uh, the, the picture as well. So there's a lot of things on here. If I just go back to the article, um, there's some other things down here as well. So there's some other ways to look at um, some of the major battles and the different warring nations. And it's just got a bunch of stuff on here. Now I am going to point out this part right here. If you click on this little menu, this is the um, article of contents. You can go directly to that particular part of the article. And then if you click over here in the settings, this is where I could view it, I could save it, I could share this, and I could share it to a Google Drive or share it um, email, I could print it, I could, use, I could look at all the citations. I could even translate this text. So if I click here, there's over a hundred different languages here. Let me just pick, uh, let me pick French. And then I'm gonna hit go. And it takes me a moment, but all of the article now is totally in French and I can listen to it. La Seconde Guerre Mondiale, 1939-1945, a été la guerre la plus so this is a good way that you could actually study something in a different language and um, that could help you overall as well. So I'm gonna go back 
to here, World Book Advanced. And I'm going to click out. And I'm going to go back up here. So there's a whole bunch of things. Obviously, I can highlight um, and search a term. I could even double click on a word. I could uh, change the size of the text. So if I wanted to look at the word civilians, I double click it. Here is the definition because there is a world book dictionary that's associated with this world book resource. So you can see the definition as a noun, as an adjective, and the usage. I could search other words too in the dictionary while I'm there. But while I'm in the article, if I come across a word that I don't understand, I can just double click it and then it will come up. Not every word comes up, but the, the major ones do come up. And then you can search it separately. All right, I'm going to type in another one. I'm going to say human heart. And one thing that I remember so much about getting um, the encyclopedia uh, when my parents bought our, uh, our family a set of encyclopedias is all the little cool little um, overlays, the plastic overlays of um, the different parts of the body. And one I re really remember is the human heart. And um, it's not as exciting as this little plastic that you know you can see the different layers. Um, but here is the entire article about the human heart. And then there's some graphics here. And there's even a video. And if you click on the video, you see once again, it's the a circulatory video. system consists chiefly of a simple network of tubes and hollow spaces called blood vessels and a pumping organ, the heart, located in the chest. Arteries, red, carry blood from the heart. Veins, blue, return blood to the heart. So there it is. There's a short article if you're doing a report. Once again, you can click on the little snowman. You can download it and use it in your report. You could uh, make the screen bigger. You, of course, can find the citation and then you can um, add it to your research as well. Um, there are other things in here. There's the standard. So you'll learn about where um, they're going to learn in uh, the state of Ohio or other states as well. There's all the states are represented there. The videos and the images are here. And then there's even related information as well. So you can go to different encyclopedia articles, websites, magazine articles as well. Okay. So we are going to now go to World Book Kids. And I've actually bookmarked it up here because of time. And World Book for Kids is um, definitely um, the one that you want to use with kids that are in kindergarten all the way up to about sixth or seventh grade. World Book, um, the regular World Book Advance, that's the one that you really want to use for middle schoolers and high schoolers and on up. Um, there's nothing inappropriate in World Book Advance, but it's just uh, World Book Kids is a little bit of a friendlier way to go about um, looking up the same information. And since we just did the heart, let's go ahead and look at the heart here um, within World Book Kids. So I've got an article over here. I can listen to it. The heart is a pump that powers the human body. And I like how it highlights each word. Um, I can't change the voice, though, on... Uh, World Book Kids, but I can look at the contents over here. I can look at the Lexile score of the uh, reading level. I can look at the different tools here, and I could um, change the read aloud settings. I could also translate this text, and I can print it, and I can share it, and I can even save it as well. Same thing over here. You've got the standards. You can look up at the different grade levels and the different standards where they would possibly learn about the um, um, uh, learn about the human heart or cells. Um, there's the pictures in the video and of course more information as well. So I could click on artificial heart and learn all about the artificial heart. And I could also just click on the picture here and it will actually show me uh, a, a diagram of what the artificial heart would look like and how it would function. I'm going to go back one. There we go. All right. 
And there are some games that are host associated with the human heart. It's alive and all systems go. If I click on it's alive. And remember, this is kindergarten up to about sixth grade. Um, and I say, um, I'm ready to play. And here I am, what is the basic unit of any living thing? And I pick one and I get the answer correct and it moves on to the next one. So if I pick the wrong answer for this, it's going to give me that, but it'll give me another chance to be able to answer the question. So the human heart actually has um, two games that kind of go with it. And then they give you some basic questions as well um, that go along with the human heart. But let's go to the front page of World Book for Kids. And you'll notice it has the same thing. This is a picture of Paris. And if I want to read about Paris, I can just click here. And there is a whole article on Paris, the City of Light. And I can do a couple of other things on here. Um, this is actually taking me to the World Book student. This would take me to the Spanish World Book. And this is taking me to a dictionary as well. So um, there are a lot of different ways to go about doing, um, um, looking at information on here. Once again, the standards here, the pictures and videos, and the more information. So I could learn just about the Eiffel Tower. There's the Eiffel Tower. And all of these have the citations and all of these have um, more information and things that you could use. So if I clicked on here, I could watch the short video on the Eiffel Tower. I could download it. And of course, I could find the citation for it as well. So I could use it in a report. All up to date, all verified information that your child or your student can use, or you can use if you are a student yourself. And then, of course, more information um, down here. So we'll go back to World Book for Kids. They always rotate this picture. You can kind of rotate through and learn different things along the way. And then they've got pictures and videos, World of Animals. They've got activities, maps, and more, games, important people, compare places, science projects, and dictionary. So if I just click on science projects, You'll notice they have all of the major areas of science here represented, represented, um, and you've got matters of uh, matter and energy here, and you can click on each one of these and here make a rainbow, and it'll tell you exactly what you need for these this experiment, the introduction, the procedures. And then there's even a discussion question afterwards. Really helpful, um, especially if you are doing some science things around the house and you're trying to teach your child a little bit more about what's going on in the world. So here's our planet and here's a whole bunch of different science experiments and science interactions that you can have with your child. So if I go back and just pick games, because a lot of times kids want to play some games, but you want to kind of put them in towards games that are educational. And here's a bunch of puzzles. Here's multiple choice games. Here's the matching games that are available, uh, sorting games, and then even a cro uh, crossword games as well. Go back to the main page. And once again, I could search anything in here, but it's going to be appropriate for kids that are um, first grade all the way up until sixth grade, really. All of this is going to be appropriate. Important people here. And I can type in important people. And then they also have broken it down into different categories as well. Okay. So that is World Book for Kids. And I went kind of out of order um, because I just wanted to make sure I showed you all of the aspects of World Book for Kids. Now we're going to take a real quick look at the World Book for Kids, um, the um, Spanish edition of World Book. And um, it 
obviously is all in Spanish, um, except the word world book. This is encyclopedia, the world of animals, activities, and then there's different categories over here, and then they're rotating some different things that you can learn about as well over here. So this is a really good resource, especially um, if you have, if you are a Spanish speaker, or if you have, um, if you're tutoring or working with a Spanish, uh, a native Spanish speaker, this is a great resource. And this really covers pretty much the whole um, school experience for, for Spanish speakers. Now, I'm running out of time, so I want to make sure I show you the last one, and that's Early Learning Activities. by World Book. Now, this is really for your real young ones from preschool on up to about first grade. And they have all sorts of different things here. Go. And I'm going to just use the arrow. And you'll see there's animal homes, there's wild animals, there's creepy crawlies. Uh, you can just keep going through. If I go to people, people at, work, at work, I can click here. And I Health can see professionals. all of these different Jobs people. that protect people. And these are all the different people. So if I wanted to learn about a farmer, Far farmer, I can listen to the word farmer. A farmer is a person who grows crops, plants, or raises animals for food on a farm. Farmers grow nearly all of the food that we eat. Farmers. And I can pause it. So I've learned a little bit about a farmer. And I can go over a little bit more because the farmer actually has six pages. To learn about livestock and the crops and the silo and the barn and even the tractor. And then it asks me if I want to go to the next, which is a plumber. I'm going to click out here. And so I could go through all of these and find about people at work. If I go back here, I could then go to weather Counting and learn numbers. all about weather. There is a real cool feature up here is a basics. new, the A basics, early learning basics. basics. And they've put it all together into different categories, fun with words, count and play, once upon a time, and welcome to reading. So if I just go here to fun with words, tracing baby I animal could trace ABCs, Tra each tracing. one of these. So if I animal trace the baby tracing. ABCs, baby it comes ABCs. Up, and I just hit the word hit play, and this works really well on a um, uh, a tablet as well. So if I hit the letter C, I've already done A and B successfully, and if C. I hit C. It's going to show me how to make the letter C. I just have to make sure my mouse is working correctly. And my mouse is not working correctly, so it looks like I'm not doing it correctly. Let me move my mouse one more time. Ah, there we go. Success. <laughs> and then, of course, I could hear the letter again. C. And then I could go D. to the next one as well. I can go back here and click on the home page and then click back here. And I could do the same thing with all of the ABCs, but using different creatures along the way. And here is count and play, Fun which is words. all about making uh, the numbers and also understanding number concepts. And then short stories once, about once upon, once, upon a, a once upon a time. And I click here. Are you here. sleeping? And here you are, here you are at some crap. very, very famous songs like Eensy Beatsy Spider, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. So some classic stories um, that um, any child um, in a preschool to early uh, kindergarten, first grade um, could really get uh, some benefits on the alphabet watching. song. I'm going to click back home. and I'm going to click home. back to the home. There's all sorts of different activities as well. Video, Here is videos. a whole bunch of videos, and they've broken them down Weather. into those categories. Animal like homes. Here's animal homes, and those are all videos just on animal homes. Um, here my, is my body. Um, all about my body. So you could hear, you could find out about your skeleton. Human, human skeleton. And here is the skeleton, and I could play that. And. Sound is something we hear.
Sound makes it possible for There's people to. about sound. Tra Tracy, baby back. animal, ABC, home, home. And then I could go to the stories. stories. I could go, activities. go to the activities. activities. So let me show this stories. the last one. We've got uh, paint by number. To the finish line. So each one of these is a paint by number. And this one Col is coloring. a page where you can actually draw your, Co own, draw your picture. own picture. And coloring. then, of course, these Monkey are pages edition. you can uh, print out and you can color. You can color them C online. Coloring. Lion on or a you could print them out as well. I'm going to click back out of that. I'm going to say yes. Color, color. And then the last one you can do is print and do. Print and do. So these are some good ones when it comes to um, printing out for uh, numbers maze, and some maze, mazes. Park the car. And some um, different things on left and right. Print and do. Left and, and right. look at all of these. There's a whole bunch of them as well. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go back to the main page. Don't forget the way that you get there is research databases, then homework help. And we've done an entire series for the entire month of September on all the 21 resources for homework help. Uh, today we went over the last four which was World Book Advanced, and that's really for the middle schooler and high school and on and adult. Uh, World Book Early, World Book of Learning, that is really for more early elementary and preschool children. And then you've got World Book for Kids, which is really for elementary children. And then you even have a Spanish version of World Book. So let me click out and um, give you a few more little announcements and then we'll call it a day. All right, uh, we were able to go over all four of those. Um, they, it is a wonderful resource, and once again, it is updated all the time. World Book is always updated, and it's a verifiable source uh, that you can use, and you can use it in presentations, and you can uh, use the citations for it. Um, it's just got a whole bunch of different things that will be very useful as we move forward. Um, not only in a blended learning or a totally virtual learning way, uh, but also if we get back to normal and the kids are back at school, they could still use this resource, um, which is just unbelievable. Um, tomorrow, uh, between 11 and 12, I will be back, I'm sorry, <laughs> for a Facebook Live event. It's all about our website, this brand new website. I'll be taking um, questions and hopefully providing some answers. Uh, but it's just a whole bunch of things that are here on our website uh, that you might have a burning question. So that's tomorrow on Facebook Live from 11 until noon. Um, next week for Lunch and Learn, I am going to dive into the Do It Yourself DIY um, part of our website, which as a homeowner, um, not a very long homeowner, um, I definitely need to learn how to do some things myself. Um, so tune in next week. I'll see you next week for Thursdays, a lunch and learn, and maybe catch me tomorrow for Facebook Live about our website. All right, have a good weekend. Thanks.